Some of Norfolk's unsung heroes have been recognised for the work they do to preserve an important part of the county's history. The RNLI Henry Blog Museum in Cromer relies on volunteers to keep everything shipshape and bristle fashion. Wally Webb went along earlier today to hear news of their award win. It's just high tide here at Cromer this morning and at the Henry Blog Museum looking out at the sea there, that stiff northeasterlies pushing the rollers onto the beach. But just inside here, uh, two volunteers, Victor Brett and Den Baker. Victor's just putting the, uh, the change into the till, getting ready for another day. Let me ask you, Den, you, you've, you've got this award. The team were named Volunteers of the Year at the Nation's Museum and Heritage Awards of Excellence. That's right. How surprised were you? In total shock. <laughs> we knew nothing about this award system before we were nominated and found out we were going to London. Um, we didn't know on the night until the, the event went through and... When we were called out for our section, we were amazing. Yeah. Just didn't know what to do with it, really. Let's, go, let's, let's wind back to the beginning. What made you volunteer in the first place? When I retired, moved to Cromer, I've always been busy. Years ago, I ran a scout group. Um, and my wife came here with a friend. And uh, the ladies on the shop said, we're looking for volunteers. So my wife, Lynn, went up to see Jackie Palmer, the manager... Gave her my name and telephone number. I came down and that, the rest is history. Yeah. Uh, was that the, the same kind of thing for you then, Victor? More or less. Uh, I've been coming here for holidays since about 1960. Um, when I moved to Norfolk, I looked around for something to do. I've been a supporter of the Honour Life for many years before. When I saw an advert for, uh, for volunteers for here, I thought, well, that's the thing. Yeah. It's a, an organisation that you'd be proud to support. Is this your usual position? That's right. I, I'm, I'm in the shop. Um, so Dennis, uh, he's on the, the boat team. He could tell you all about the boat. We have people behind the scenes that do cataloguing, care collections. There's uh, uh, school visits. We have ladies that uh, take the schools, tell them the stories of the... Uh, rescues, sort of re do be a reenacting, get the children involved, have a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, what about you, Dan? Well, like Victor, as Victor said, I, I work on the boat. There's the three of us in the boat team do the conservation work on the boat. I also do the gallery team, which is uh, talking to the visitors, trying to enhance their visit, make it more enjoyable, more informative, right. and hopefully, in the long run. They get a bit of more interest in the island and and they may support us. They may come out and do voluntary work themselves, or they may, as you know, we're totally self-funding, mm -hmm. so they may, they may make donations and help that way. And also, I forgot to mention, he's also a secondary key holder, as well as myself. Yeah, I noticed you came and opened up this morning. Well, that's what I mean. Our manager, Jackie Palmer, had a, had a difficult year last year, and... I've been doing key holding since 2007, but Vic started last year as well. So when Jackie can't get here, we just open and close and yeah. keep it going. That's all. Right. We do like more people, so if people want to volunteer, we, we are shorter at the moment. So if they ring Jackie Palmer yeah. on 01263 511294, and uh, she'll be pleased to meet them and show them around and take them on, because we do need people. <laughs> They got the advert in there. Well done to everyone involved at the Henry Blog Museum in Cromer and particularly the volunteers who got the award, including our two guests there with Wally Webb, Victor Brett and Den Baker. It's well worth visiting. It's a terrific place to go and have a look at um, the, uh, the artefacts about lifeboat history just to the east of the pier in Cromer, right on the front. You can smell the sea in the air there. And uh, named after... Cromer's greatest lifeboatman and possibly the greatest lifeboatman around the country as well, who was in the RNLI on the lifeboat there in Cromer for 53 years and retired when he was 71. Mm -hmm.